wildfires continue to rage on the island of Korchula and the Pelishats Peninsula, with one fire being battled on the island of Korchula near the town of Smokvica, and as many as three separate blazes burning across the Pelishats Peninsula. The damage caused to nature and property is said to be immense, and it is yet to be established what caused the fires. The Croatian MEP Tonino Pizzola has requested the assistance of the European Commission following the fires ripping through the Croatian coast. Pizzola said that the existing solidarity fund can be used in case a large number of residents of an area are hit by a catastrophe of serious long-lasting negative effects on the region's economic stability and living conditions. President Kolinda grabar Kitarovic is on a two-day official visit to Israel. She laid a wreath at the Yad Vashem Holocaust Museum and is attending the ceremony of creation producer Branko Lustig presenting the Vad Yashem with the Oscar he had received in 1993 for the production of the movie Schindler's List. The Croatian mountain rescue team has once again conducted a successful operation. This time they rescued a female foreign national who had collapsed due to exhaustion at Lekine Njive, above Mala Paklenica. The rescue operation was conducted using a helicopter due to the rugged terrain and the serious condition of the woman in question who was medevac to Zemunik. In sports, Croatian team Borna Choric managed an upset at the Umag ATP tournament last night by beating Spaniard Marcelo Granoleris 6-3, 6-3. His opponent in the second round is Britain's Alish Bedene. And in football, the return match of the second round of qualifications for the UEFA Champions League will be played today. Zagreb's Dinamo is in Luxembourg, where they face Fola. And a quick look at the weather, prevalently sunny afternoons, some moderate cloud build up mostly at high elevations and in the Dalmatian hinterland with a remote possibility of a few showers, winds mainly light. Light in rare places, moderate southwesterly and westerly winds along the coast, some moderate bore overnight along the northern Adriatic coast, sea slight, sea temperatures between 20 and 30 degrees, visibility good. Afternoon temperatures mostly between 34 and 38 degrees, up to 40 in the Dalmatian hinterland. A sunny start of the day on Thursday and very hot. The moderate cloud development may bring showers and thunder in inland regions with possible storms. Friday and Saturday will remain unsettled with showers in places and it will be less hot. The Adriatic to remain very hot with nights measuring over 25 degrees. There's a very slight chance of a shower on Thursday, but there's a better prospect for a few showers on Friday and Saturday.